Exit EU migration rules are to end straight after no deal. Well, migration. No mention of the not EU migration, which is at the highest it's ever been in the last 14 years as the EU migration slows. What's the point in stopping free movement of people from the European Union while simultaneously allowing free movement of people from non-EU countries to continue as they were prior? Any claims of clamping down on free movement of people is rather half-hearted, is it not? Disingenuous, to say the least. All these politicians, all their histrionics, whining and crying and whinging about the post-Brexit white paper that was published a few months prior. All of these politicians were all screaming to the rooftops about how it was far right related and it was xenophobia etc etc and in the case of Scotland helmet head and all that banging on about it being damaging and catastrophic the usual tropes but yet that would only be if the post Brexit white paper had meant clamping down on all immigration why were these politicians back then silent on non-EU immigration being at the highest it's been for 14 years year on year on year for at least five or six years it's been at the highest it's been in a long time. Silence in that regard though, because what all we're talking about is EU immigration and the clampdown that's supposedly going to occur. But I don't see the fucking point. The change would affect the rights of EU citizens who arrive in the UK from November onwards. A Lib Dem has criticised the move as irresponsible and reckless. Mrs May, two, uh, under Mrs May, two options have been considered to prolong the rules, allowing EU nationals to live and work freely in other countries in the bloc under no deal, with one option being for the rules to be extended until January 2021, another being to allow EU citizens to stay for three months before applying for a longer stay. Those plans have been dropped by Boris Johnson in favour of a new approach. Speaking on Monday, Johnson said that the UK would not become hostile to immigration. Of course, <laughs> yeah, you're not fucking kidding, eh? Uh, free movement of people as it currently stands will end on the 31st of October when the UK leaves the EU. Yes, but the free movement of people that he's talking about is EU free movement of people. After, the bre after Brexit, the government will introduce a new fair immigration system that prioritises skills and what people can contribute to the UK rather than where they come from. Who will be affected? In a no-deal scenario, those EU citizens with the right to permanent residence in the UK which is granted after they have lived for the, in the UK for five years, should not see their rights affected. An end to free movement of people would not affect those EU citizens coming for holidays and short trips, but would impact those who wish to work or stay. The changes to free movement of people will not directly affect Irish citizens, and in May, British and Irish ministers signed a deal to guarantee free movement of people for their citizens across the Irish border and cross-border access for study, etc. No mention, of course, of non-EU immigration being affected by this. Very good to talk the talk about clamping down on immigration. You know, you're, the first red flag, as far as I was concerned with Boris Johnson, was the revelation that he wants an amnesty for illegal migrants. And the second red flag was the mention of creating GMO crops. You know what I mean? And now this is the third one, as far as I'm concerned. Bargaining on about ending free movement of people, but yet not ending it completely. The silent majority that seemed to be entering year on year. Not mentioned, not affected. Business as usual where they're concerned, is it not? Can the government drop free movement of people? As it starts, the policy of free movement will automatically transfer into UK law. Ministers can change some regulations by a statutory instrument, a form of secondary legislation, but only to address deficiencies. This is why the government needs to introduce the immigration bill, the first clause of which ends free movement of people. But again, but again, the policy of free movement of people being automatically transferred into the UK law only affects and hinders potentially EU immigration. The, o the borders have been wide open, the doors have been wide open, and we've had a fucking Conservative government in charge. What does that tell you about the state of our politics, as far as I'm concerned? Clown world, as everybody seems to refer to. They all seem to be on board the left-wing gravy train. Even the people that are supposed to be on the right are drifting to the left. Open fucking borders and complete silence from all. Complicit. Cahoots, if you will.